What's up, scholars? Today we're talking about function operations or function ops. So what do we mean by operations? Well, we mean adding, subtracting, and we're just going to talk about multiplying because dividing gets a little bit sneakier. So we're just talking about adding, subtracting, multiplying, divide, not dividing though, not dividing, functions. Now, why would we ever need to do this? So say, for example, we have a function that describes some phenomenon like you throwing a ball. Throw a ball, that's generally what it's gonna look like. And that gives you a pretty good picture of the motion of the ball. And we'll call this f of x, this function modeling this ball. But it's not totally accurate because there's this thing called wind resistance. Wind resistance that's always acting on the ball. So this function f of x that we have doesn't account for this wind resistance. Sorry, not paper. Wind resistance. So we really need some new function that incorporates this other component, wind resistance, which in this case actually is a function. It's a function of the density of air. It's a function of the velocity of the object. It's a function of the cross-sectional area of that option op object. So this wind resistance is itself a function. And the true motion is described by taking our, uh, our graph here and subtracting off some wind resistance. So really, our new function that accurately describes the height of the object would be our quadratic here, subtracting off our wind resistance. So let's do an example. Okay, so here we are, delta math. Our question says, given that f of x, some function, equals x squared minus 14x plus 45, got it. So this is some sort of quadratic going up. And g of x equals x minus 9, so that's some linear function. Find this new function defined by f of x minus g of x. So we're just going to take f of x minus g of x. So first, I'm kind of interested, like, what does this even mean? Let's go over to our good friend Desmos. f of x is this quadratic function, this blue function here. g of x is this red linear function, and then h of x, our new function, defined by f of x minus g of x. That is our function here in black. That's our resultant function. And it looks a whole lot like the blue function. Right, it's, it's still a quadratic. And that makes sense because when we subtract these two functions mechanically, we're subtracting like terms. So the higher order, the highest order is gonna dominate the function. It's still gonna mostly look like whatever the degree of that function is. Okay, so I wrote down our delta math example. We're gonna see what the, again, mechanics look like, taking f of x, subtracting g of x. So I'm gonna write this in kind of a stacked form because that's easier for me to see. x squared minus 14x plus 45. And then I'm going to put the like terms underneath each other. So x minus nine. And then we're going to subtract both of these. So x squared is gonna stay there negative 14x minus x is negative 5x, and 45 minus negative 9 is really 45 plus 9 is 54. That should be our final answer. So then we go over to our good friend Wolfram Alpha, and we plug in what we're looking for, and it confirms our beliefs x squared minus 15x plus 54. So we go over delta math, 
wonder if I can just copy and paste. No, go over to Dell's math. We say x squared minus 15x plus 54. We click that submit button because we're ready. We're ready to submit and we get all the money. Okay, addition would be exactly the same. It's so, so boring, I didn't want to talk about it. I do want to talk about notation though. So we just saw f of x minus g of x, and you might see it that way, or you might see f minus g of x. These are equivalent statements. This one actually has a little less writing, this f minus g of x. I kind of like it better. It's more condensed. So similarly, like I said, all the same rules would apply if we were adding two functions together. We'd line up our terms and add our like terms. Super simple. That will also look like f plus g of x. All right, cool. So that takes care of addition and subtraction. Now we're going to talk about multiplying, multiplying functions. Multiplying. Because it's not, it's not quite as simple, not quite as simple, though it's uh, exactly as you would imagine it to be. You're going to multiply two functions. So we might see that like f of x times g of x, or we might see that as f g of x. Great. Actually, I think it usually has a little dot in there, f dot g of x, f dot g of x. So let's talk about multiplying functions. All right, so I want to show you a cool example of where this gets used in signal and information processing, uh, which would be like working with sound and images and some scientific uh, instruments. So let's say, come on the cursor, come on everybody. Oh, it's stuck. There we go. So we have this wave, this blue wave. This is a cosine wave. Probably talked about cosine. Well, we'd have to talk about it in, in geometry, but here's a cosine wave. And here's some other cosine wave that oscillates much less frequently. It's got the same amplitude here, but uh, it goes, you know, there's, there's, only one hump here where there's like quite a lot of fluids. What happens if we multiply these two functions together? We get a totally different function, totally different function. It looks, it looks really, I mean, does it, it looks more like the blue one. Yeah, it looks more like the blue one, but it's, it's a new function. It has a new shape, right? There's little kind of dips here that don't uh, happen in either one of these quite like that, or maybe they do here on the red. Anyway, it's a totally different function. When we multiply functions together, we get totally different functions. Whereas previously when we added or subtracted, we could kind of tell what the answer was going to look like because of the degree of the function. And we could still kind of tell what the answer is going to look like, but it has a lot more detail that we wouldn't necessarily be able to see right away. So let's go check out the DM, a Delta math example, which will be much more simple uh, equations wise, but you know, kind of less interesting because of that. 